Hello everyone, I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on this channel Many Ways Films with David Guerrero. I hope everyone is doing very well. We're really close to Christmas. In the video of today, I want to talk one more time about Seacamp. Um, it, it came the, the moment where I needed to do a Zoom meeting, be part of a Zoom meeting but in this case, I didn't have any webcam and I didn't want to buy anything, especially having two cameras and I wanted to get the best image as I could. This video is going to be about how I was able to use my Ccam with Zoom and there's going to be a couple of things that you're going to need to be able to do this, but the most important, it's a Ccam. And I would say this, don't buy a Seacam to, uh, for your Zoom meetings or for your live streams or anything like that. I think it's a great camera, but you can definitely uh, get something for more than half the price or less than the price for the Seacam and get a really, really great image quality. We're going to get on the computer and I'm going to be showing you. Hey everyone, so the first thing that you are going to want to do is go to your Explorer or Google Chrome or browser and it doesn't really matter the order, I will go to OBS Studio and make sure that you go to the one that says obsproject.com. In my case, I'm using Windows. So I will go right here and as you click on it, it should start downloading this file right here. So would do you want to allow this app to make any changes? Yes, I already have it installed and because I'm using it on this moment, I'm not going to be able to do this, but the process to download OBS, it's pretty simple. So I wouldn't think that you would have any trouble. It's free. so it shouldn't be complicated. The next program that you're gonna want to download would be Ccam. Make sure that you go to their official website and it's ccam.com. Support and software, software update. This is the latest version of Windows um, 0.62 this is their file so just go right here to the download as soon as you click on it it should start downloading down here um, it's not a really heavy file so there we go yeah so you will click on this execute file extract all extract as soon as it's complete you will come to this file and just execute so if it doesn't let you just give it permission and in a second I'm gonna be showing you what to do with this program and OBS. But the next thing that you're gonna want to do is go straight to your Zoom. Just go through Zoom but I already have it downloaded. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Just download Zoom. You will be you will create an account. It's free, sign up free, pretty simple, like creating a Facebook, YouTube account, an email, really basic. So once you're done with that, uh, I'll show you what is going to happen. I'm going to be logging in. And once we are in, uh, we're going to leave that sitting there for a minute. Uh, we don't need any of this right now. Find your connection information so you will go to network you're gonna want to find the internet IP so it's gonna be in my case case 1098.321 right in here it's where you're gonna be connecting this cable just just like that after you've done that you're gonna go to your Ccam string converter and you're gonna type your IP. Once that you have done that, 
you can click on a camera just click on it and what you can do it's just uh, go right ahead and select your resolution that you're gonna want to have um, I usually leave all that like now like like what it is I would start my preview and it's a little bit dark so while you are doing that you can actually go here on your settings and play with things a little bit um, that's how you would do it so uh, there we go so you get the idea you can come in here and play with your settings the next thing that you are gonna do is that you are gonna go to start virtual camera that has already started so when you start your meeting or you join your meeting you're gonna go to the video options and you are gonna select the uh, OBS virtual camera don't freak out if this happens all you're gonna do is go to your OBS you're gonna create one of these let's call it C cam 2 because I already have one I don't know why this happens but just make sure that your thing like sometimes it's like clicked just do it that way so you will do the window capture just select your stream converter and that should be it this doesn't really matter as far as I know so go ahead and start your virtual camera um, I think in here you should be able to just adjust it however you you like so I personally don't like those things showing right there so I would just go ahead and make it a little bit bigger <laughs> you can do many sorts of things if you found if you if you found this video interesting helpful in any way i can go more in depth on uh, how to play with your lots in obs to be able to get a really really cool image uh, on your zoom meeting so um let's go back to the other camera well that's it for the video of today i hope that this was helpful to you i know that there's another way while I was doing my Zoom meeting, I by accident found a way to do it without Ccam string converter. I think that that will give you a better image. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna be trying it out this week. And if you found this helpful or interesting, I will make another video about that with a little bit more in depth. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate uh, you subscribing to this channel. If you haven't or you think that you are, go and subscribe. Um, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.